What's up, y'all? It's been a while, so we're going to do a Zendikar draft because there's nothing great up on on the clients right now. It's literally just regular stuff. Magic Online right now has Innistrad flashback drafts, but that feels worse to me than the Innistrad Supreme drafts that were just up because those are actually pretty fun. I actually kind of enjoyed those. Um, so, yeah, we also don't have any cubes or anything up, but next week is the Vintage Cube, I think. Is that correct? I think that's correct. Someone can correct me if I'm not, if I'm mistaken. And I'm sure you will. I'm about to get some sleep here and go back in a 36. Not the plague. This is the most sleep I've ever seen you need because your sentences are rough today, buddy. Happy early Halloween, Frank. What are you going to be? That's a good question. If I was Jim from The Office, I would say I'm going to be a Twitch streamer for Halloween. But I don't know. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's true. I'm going to dress up as a sandwich miner. That's not... That's not a dress up though, that's literally, yeah. I'm gonna pause this until it fills. I don't know how, how quickly these two slots are gonna fill, but you guys on YouTube don't have to wait for it. All right, we did it, we fired this bad boy. My best friend just got COVID, she's okay, but she was sick for like a week, her husband and his mom, be careful out there y'all, jeez, jeez. Dan, that sucks bud. It's just Grackmaw. Can we Grackmaw? I like Royal Mage. He's all right. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst is okay. Relic Vial's pretty good if we want to go Clerics. I think 3 3 for 3 that like makes a dude when he dies is probably good enough. Oh, I like Marasa Sproutling a lot. Gloom Hunter's fine. This guy just draws you a card, though, essentially. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the. It's also another 33 for 3, so we're on the 33 for 3 train. Um, and this pack is pretty bad for us. Okay, not ideal. Since Monday, I've worked 60 hours, and 40 of that was with no sleep. Tomorrow I have a 36 hour shift. How is this even real, dude? How is that real? That seems literally um, irresponsible to, to assign to assign you guys those shifts. Like, that seems terrible. I don't love this pack. I'm going to take Drawn a Silencer just to keep on, on color. 2-2 two, two for 2 with Kicker. Uh, if you kick it, it's a 5-5 five, five for 5. Whenever one or more counters are put on a creature, if Moss was killed... Oh, that seems great. We're going to take that guy. Uh, not the plague is in the navy, so. Is it the navy or air force? It's navy, right? Uh... Yeah, I mean this pack's also pretty unimpressive. We have this is the second uh, double faced red card we had. The other one was spike field hazard, so we could be taking a bunch of these. Yeah, we're just going to take Vanquish the week. This guy's good. I like this guy a lot, actually. 5-4 uh, for 5 that gets indestructible when you play a land. 2-2 two, two for 2. Yeah, I thought it was the Navy. Uh, I actually kind of like Scale the Heights. Uh, Grackmoss says whenever another creature you control dies, if it had one encounter, put one encounter on it. So... I'm going to take Rabbit Bite. <laughs> that just seems better. King Eater, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I appreciate the support, my dude. Thank you for saying so, buddy. Ooh. 
Two, three, four, five. It enters with a counter for each color of mana. Draw a card if that a creature at a plus one, plus one counter. This guy will have it. Sprout. Uh, Grant. Okay, so not great. Uh, I'm just going to take Broken Wings for the sideboard. Spring Mantle Cleric is only going to be like a, a four, five for five, which is not super exciting. Oh, Dan's with the gifted sub to none other than Elk Tears. Surprise, surprise. Dan's, I appreciate you. How is this deck a trap? Oh no, I've never, I haven't drafted this format nearly enough to know if this is a trap. So take these broken wings. I mean, Might of Marasa is fine. It has Kicker, so like we can just get it back with a Sproutling. Eh, Skelight seems fine. This deck isn't the trap, this deck is the truth. I mean, I do think it, it seems, I do, I do think it's fine right now. I mean, we're just going to open a Nissa. Look at this disgusting Hydra. Hmm. Three, three for three, or one, three for two that gains you life. I'm going to take the Kicker Bat. The synergies don't come together super strongly. Yeah, Nissa Parter of Veils. Decided wrong planeswalker. Dude, not to play. Get some sleep, buddy, and please don't kill yourself on that 36 hours, dude. That is ridiculous. I think our removal is fine now. We got Vanquish, we have Drana Silencer, which can kill a thing, and we have uh, Rabid Bite so far. Yeah, I'm just going to take Oblivion. Oblivion's Hunger. I mean, it's indestructible and, and draw a card. <laughs> Your stream keeps me alive. Buddy, I hope not. That's a lot of pressure. Um, huh. Yeah, let's take Constrictor here. Sure. It has counters on it. Oblivion's Hunger kind of. This is only pack one. This definitely feels like it, it took a while. Oh, Seagate Stormcaller. And then, like, nothing very good. <coughs> this pack's kind of rough. I guess Tajiro Blightblade is probably, like, our best bet here. Mm 
Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, these two are, like, our only real. I'm going to take it to Blight Blade. I think the... Oh, another, another Sproutling. That seems pretty pretty good. Valakut Awakening is pretty sweet, too. I'm going to take the Sproutling. At worst, this guy's a 3 3 for 3 which is just very good. Is this good? This has Kicker, which also works with Sproutling. Oh, yeah, we're taking Myra Ed Construct for sure. That seems real sweet. Did you hear those robot noises that it made? Now this song is stuck in my head. Robots are cool. Robots are cool. <laughs> oh man. I ain't never met a robot that gave a shit about gender. And that's the truth. I'm pretty sure I'm too old to join the Navy. That's old up here. You're never too old to join the Navy, maybe. You'd think, but you're probably wrong. Really? Fascinating. Um, I mean, we're just going to take... The call the ambush, it's really good. Man, Grackma kind of uh, directed this entire draft. Unfortunately, Grackma has no creature type. Marasa Sproutling has no creature type. They have no no uh no party type. Oh, Lotus Cobra? Codus Lobra? Oh yeah. Wow, that's late. Is no one in green? They'll find something to do with your body. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. This is like my fidget spinner. This purple mattress. Really? Skeleton Heights? I, I thought it was fine. I mean, the 1-1 one, one counter is nice. Drawing a card is nice. Two life is nice. It does a lot of things, man. You don't like it, though? Mind drain, highborn vampire. Probably just the, actually, we'll take gnarly, gnarly, gnarly colon, colonid. No, instead of gnarled colony, it's gnarly colonid. That makes more sense. Oh, another moss pit skeleton. Oh my god, we're so mossy up in here, dude. Boom. 
I'm gonna take Deadly Alliance actually. <laughs> I just think it's better. Sadly. Yeah. I got excited because the on color uncommon is like is like the sirens call for me, you know? But Hmm. Let's take territorial side the cat. Did you guys all know transmissions cost an arm and a leg to get? I did know that, yeah. That is, uh, as far as I know, that is one of the most expensive parts of the car to go. A car to go is kind of like a cardigan, but it's a little bit different. I'm gonna take Blood Priest because I'd like to maximize my two drops, and also because I just think if you have a, like if you can go like Blade Blade into Blood Priest, I mean, it's just a nice little drain there. I'm gonna take Gnarled Colony. Okay, I don't. Hmm. I was gonna say I don't know if any might have Marasa, but I just kind of like having. You're on a signboard. Yeah, I can see how scale is not super impressive here. Just like Highborn Vampire. Yep, nothing, nothing good here. I don't think that guy's great, but he does put a counter on things, so it's kind of on brand. I don't care about either of those cards. Yep, you can go there too, but they are options. Ooh, Scoot Swarm? Okay, Scoot Swarm just seems close to unbeatable, right? Oh, Scoot Scoot. Um, this guy also seems good. It's just a lure that we can get back with a uh, double sproutling. Don't care about these or these. Yeah, we'll just take the lure. Another vanquish, another two drop. Yeah, I'll just take vanquish. Blood Beckoning, I'd, I actually kind of like Canopy Bale. I think that guy's very strong. And we don't have any 4 drops here, so... Keep in mind, this guy's probably a 5 drop. And this guy's probably a 6 drop. This guy... At least some of these guys are also probably 5 drops. 3 counters, 2 counters. This is a 4-4 four, four, for 5, this is a 5-5 five, five for 5. I mean, just a 2-3 three for 3 is still fine. Like, I think having two of these is just fine. Uh, I think... I think even if you're a sub, you still have to watch ads, I think. Uh, no, we took the, um... Deadly Alliance over the other skeleton. Hmm. Yep, don't care about that. Don't think we need a third Narlwood colony. I'm just going to take the other Broken Wings. I'm seeing... I don't even... Is there like one... There's like one elf in this deck? Sacrifice another creature, put a 1-1 counter on this. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter dies, draw a card. That actually seems great for us.
Mm -hmm. 3 3 flyer that's uh, based on counters? Sure. I mean, this seems pretty good right now. <sighs> oh, wow. Another Moss Pit Skeleton. I mean, Moss Pit Skeleton is just better than the other dude, right? Okay, 41 cards. We need one cut. And we're keeping Colony as like a 20th land. Or uh, 18th land? I don't know, I said 20th land. I don't like might, it's just a nice trick. We don't have a ton of evasion, so. Yeah, Patriarch's bidding is not in modern because it's, uh. Yeah, it's got the modern border. Or it doesn't have the modern border, rather. How many creatures is this? Looks like a lot. 18, that's a good amount. I might just take out Blight Blade. I feel like we're kind of playing a more... So this is a 2-2. Two, two. This is a 2-2 two, two for 2. Kicker's 3, Kicker's 3. This comes into play with three counters, making it a 5-5. Five, five. This comes in with two counters, making it a 4-4. Four, four. I wish we could put it into our hand, but sadly, no. Oh, Milchie, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. It's got lots of things to do. This is a forest. Or a, you know, green source, I guess. Um, oh, we'll go with the two mana one. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, Dillon Mace with the resub. What up, my dude? Hmm. 
Our battle's ready. Dang, I should have just waited like one second. Do you get something if you get 30 skins? I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. Oh, we're just field researching. That's good to know. I'm kind of just tempted to throw a Marasa Sproutling out here, just for no value. Like, a 3-3 is fine. We don't have another a land. And, like, we can always use this one to get back of this one. And I think a 2-2 two -two is really not going to do as much here if they play, like, a 2-2 two -two or a 2-3. Yep. I think that limited design, uh, you know, kind of. Yeah, there's definitely sets where I'm like, this is good, this is not good, this is good. Um, I don't think I want you back on top. Seems good. You got it. Was just at Arby's. Can confirm. Not on the menu. What are we saying right now? Are you talking about skin sandwiches? <laughs> I mean, they definitely block a Grackmaw here, right? So then we can Oblivion Hunger, maybe? Deals twice? Yeah, that's even... You got it. Not 
not terrible. Not doing terribly here. We know they have draw two, draw three here. This is pretty good. And that's what they're gonna do. Oh, big bubs. I'm actually going to kill this guy. It doesn't seem great, but like I want to be able to keep getting in there with my 2-3. And we're just going to keep getting back Sproutling for now. Two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna play this one, two, three, four, five. Now, if like if we get next turn, we can have three lands if we draw something that we can we can play. I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. I don't think it matters. Negative one up here in the mountains. Dylan Mace, where you at? Oh, they just drew two that time. They're like, no, no, I can't afford to to draw three this game. They've drawn like eight extra cards this game. What are the? They're at fifteen cards in their deck. We're at twenty-four. Yeah, that's a good amount. Oh boy. I'm just getting might back, like. Okay. Yep, sounds good. This is five, six, seven. We could almost kill them, which is pretty comical. Why don't you have trample, I wonder? Okay, that'll be it. All right. Interesting. Just didn't have anything. How much time do we have? Two minutes and 15 seconds. I am going to wait. Vanquish the Weak seems like it hits every creature in their deck, but the problem is I don't really care about the creatures in their deck. Drana Silencer actually seems pretty good because they have a lot of X1s. And Broken Wings also seems pretty decent because they do have both um, Bubble Snare, is that what it's called? And the 4-3 the Flying Guy and the 3-4 Flyer. So I'm going to bring in one Broken Wings. I'll take out Oblivion's Hunger, that was kind of just cute. Bring in Silencer. Take out one Arbor Mage. That seems good.
was a loud notification from Amazon. I have no idea why I received at 11.42 at night. Okay. These plays are just not super exciting right now. I mean, turn five, we can go Scythe Cat into land. Turn six, we can go Gloom Hunter as a 3 3 lifelinker. A 3 3 Bane Slayer. Seems good. And, like, if they're just wasting all their, like, removal here, I'm pretty okay with it. Um, I actually will take action because a 5-5 five, five off the top might just be better than anything else we can hit here. I'm gonna say no attacks. I mean, it's a 2-for-1, but, like, they could have the, uh... I don't know. I just don't feel like it's necessary to attack here. seems good like this is why we brought in draw a silencer it kills literally every one of their creatures right now uh, plus lands are relevant oh, no blocks whatsoever Bubble Snare. G Guards, thank you for the raid, man. Really appreciate it. What up, y'all? Oh, look, it was a Bubble Snare. Who knew? We knew. This one ever creature for the counter dies? Plus, we can still activate this guy. That's pretty good. Sure. So you take five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Uh. Okay. Not great, Bob. All right. 1-0. Oh. Gee, guards, thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate it. For right now, though, we're going to head on over streamer here. Oh, yeah, give me that pack. All right. Let's see if we can 3-0 this bad boy. This bad Larry. Look at that avatar. I don't even know who that is. I'll keep this hand. This is what I love about Kicker. Like, Kicker is one of the best mechanics in Magic because 
it scales so well. Like it gives you two drops when you need two drops. And if it's late game, this isn't a terrible draw. It's actually a five, a four, four with trample, you know? So like kicker just gives you so many things. To, how do they get these lands? Can we change our lands? That's wild. Did I not know that we can do that? And I'm using these like these arena lands. Come on, man. Yo, Elk Tears, what up? What up, MJR? You seriously need to invest in the Euro lands. You think so? <laughs> Scrub lands. I'm just a bigger fan of full art lands. That's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, they just took it. Oh. Huh. Well, that's something. Hmm. I really hate casting this guy without kicker, though. That seems real bad. here we're only doing this because we have oblivion's hunger in hand and now we get to deal seven that's a good amount oh they just concede okay <laughs> that seems good all right seems good yeah so oh all right, the whole match is done, I guess. That was good for us. Okay. How much left in this? Oh, 25 minutes left in this battle. Okay. Well, I'll take it. Oh, man, you guys are talking Canada right now? You guys are having Canada? Uh... Or are you talking about... Yeah, you're talking about Ontario. Okay. Man, you guys are having Canada relations. I will keep this hand for sure. I think Hunter might want to get in here in a second. I am also Canada. I am Canada. Oh, one three, huh? Just checking. Just seeing what seeing where you're uh checking out the cut of your jib. Kurt and I are both flowers that grew from the same pot of dirt. Oh, Lord. Just beautiful. Hmm. Oh, hold on, let me let Hunter in.
things are happening here. I'm missing lots of things. Oh, I don't mind that, though. What did they do? Oh, they just took, like, four damage? Dang. You got it. Hmm. I think we should have attacked first. But it's still a two for... No, it's two for two, I guess. Sure. Oh, boy. Oh, Jiminy. Oh, Jimothy. Oh, we're doing it. We're scooting and swarming. Oh, don't care about that at all. We're going to make two more Scooty Boys. Oh, boy. Buddy. Every draw is live here. Spells or lands. How do they beat this again? Because I'm actually not sure. Oh, what up, Chris? Oh, my God. Nifty Chris using his own emoji. Unbelievable. Uh, search driver for two lands. Sure. Oh, planes. Fascinating. Okay. You know what? I actually think at this juncture, like, making eight Scoot Swarms is probably better than... Wow. Scoot Swarm is a... It's a fair magic card. I hope you don't have a sweeper? Yeah, that's fine. Any non-basics? Literal zero, huh? Okay. So if they block one, they still take seven. There's gonna no attacks here. And then they gain three, so they actually take four, so they go to nine. That guy doesn't have Vigilance, so that's just fine with me. Yep. God, Jesus. That's ridiculous. This card is insane. <laughs> oh, good times. I was definitely tempted to kick it anyway to show dominance. Would you like to block one Scoot Swarm? No, oh, I see. You got it. So you take seven? How do you control this? Let's 
go do 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 do. Guys, if we hit a land, we only we only get fifteen scoot swarms instead of sixteen now. It's kind of stupid. Wow, scoot swarm is a ridiculous card. That is not a reasonable amount of tokens to be made. <laughs> Every land is a, is a threat. Every card is a threat. Okay, so we can attack with 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They can block three, so they take 16. Yeah, we're just all attacking here. This is 19. They gain four, so they go up to 14. Yep, they should be dead. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So we saw one flyer. Broken wings could be good. That's all we saw, though. Actually, Vanquish the Week is probably very good, right? Like, we saw a bunch of creatures that we'd like to vanquish. I'm just gonna play 41. I'm okay with it. Oh, the lands. I forgot the lands. Dang it. Oh, I already have a Vanquish in the main deck. I'm just adding the second one. Although your point is valid that there could be just enough creatures that you're... It's totally reasonable to just play two. If that is indeed your point. Now you're going to be like, no, I just think one is fine. I'm going to be like, oh, okay, dang. Then I feel stupid. Um, This hand seems fine. Three drop. Three drop on four. Five drop. Seems fine. I bet we can hit a two drop. We have a bunch of those dudes. Oh, four vanquishes? Dang. Mm. More like Danquish. Dang. Oh, they mulliganed. I like it. No offense to them, of course. I'm just trying to win the game. I'm just trying to win here. Uh, I kind of want to play this guy because now we have a four drop that we're going to play and I'd rather this guy just get the counter next turn anyway okay that seems fine four four that makes four one ones seems pretty good okie dokie okie dokie you little artichokey Let's get in there. Oof. Big oof. 
I'm actually going to hold the land because we have Scoot Swarms. That seems good. I think we just trade with this. Because otherwise it's pretty bad. So we can like play Arbor Mage, kick it, they go to three, and then we just trade here. Oh no, we can't. Oh, it's target of a spell, right? Yes, yeah, so we can do that. You know, that seems fine. They're at six, we have five power on board. That is an instant. Gotta have something here. Mm, sure. So we still got to keep it vanquish and ambush. Vanquish and ambush. Return a car, creature card up to him. Yeah, that card's good. Hmm. Well. Put them to two. <sighs> That's pretty good. She she have a vampire cleric, sure. I mean, you have to attack because it's basically the same as. Uh, yeah, okay, this one. Pass. They have one green. That could be affecting them. <laughs> yep, seems good. Yep, alright. That was amazing. They had to have Subtle Strike there. I got vigilance, right? Uh, no blocks. Both of these guys have menace. Interesting. So they can easily like, kill this guy. This guy no longer will have menace. Let's get an armor rage, I guess. I am afraid of removal here. But I'm not sure if I should be. Because the thing is, if they have removal, then we then they're going to have to use it before Arbor Mage next turn. And I want the Arbor Mage to get through. So, either they have removal, or they don't. Okay. The 
this is fascinating. I don't know what's going on here. Definitely you first, because if they kill this guy, then this guy gets plus one, plus one. Oh, they go to one. Interesting. And they have no creatures, so they can't get anything back with this Drana. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this is a lot of damage. I'm just gonna take five here. I'll, okay, so now I have to block. No, okay. Okay, so just five. This is, this is very confusing. I don't know what's happening right now. Our battle's ready in seven minutes, guys, if you want to place your unis. 679, though. This is 13, so I have to block. Does this guy have trample? No, so let's block that guy. I'm not sure I understand this play. So they just have to have a removal spell? What? Why didn't you just keep guys back to block it? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Thank you guys for watching, though. Definitely check out nordvpn.org slash Laporte. It's a great way to save 68% off and get a month free on a great internet security solution, great VPN. You can also check out manatraders.com, which has a great deal at 15% off for the first three months. If you use the link and promo code down below, all of those links are in the description below. Check those out. They're great services and great ways. How are they dead regardless? They had three blockers, right? Like they have the 5-5, five, five, the 4-4, four, four, and... Yes, but I only had one dude. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's so it's tricky, right? Because like, if they attack with 4-4 four, four, and 5-5, five, five, I can take it. And I have two creatures, one of which I can make them block. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. So then I just put the, then I put the lure elf on the 3-3. Three, three. They have to block the 3-3, three, three, they take two. Or the other way, even. I put it on the 2-2, two, two, they have to take, they take three. Um, so they have to attack in such a way that I need to block with my 3-3. Three, three. So that's what I did. And um, that way they like they have to. It's, it's 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 damned if you do, damned if you don't. Situation where like, if they don't get the three three off the board, they die to it because I have two creatures, one of which can lure and one of which can get through. And if they attack with everything, they're dead anyway because then I have the two two menace guy that they can't block. So basically, a rock in a hard place. That's a good call. I wasn't thinking about what they didn't have, or uh, or, or how they play around it. So. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.